I've had the pod go wireless for a few days now. Let's talk about what I've learned, who this is for, some killer tones, and why I almost sent it back. We're here with the Pod Go Wireless. Let's talk about who this thing is for. If you've already got a Pod Go, this is essentially the same thing, but with your wireless built in. So no real reason to upgrade unless you just gotta have that wireless and maybe you can get your money back. But if you don't have something like this, uh, it's, it's incredible. This is a one-stop shop. You can do a whole gig just from this. You don't need an amp. Uh, you can just put this uh, in the bag, take your guitar to a show, and you're ready to go. It's incredible the versatility that you have here. Let's talk about who this is not for. If you are a tone snob, <laughs> and, and yeah, be honest with yourself, if you're a tone snob, uh, you, there might be a little bit lacking in this. But really, we're talking about are you uh, in the mix? or an in the room guy. Because if you're if you're gonna record at home, then it's really easy to get good tone in the mix from this thing. It's a little harder in the recording to get a good sound out of one of these guys. You gotta have the mics, uh, you gotta have the, your EQ set right. But with this thing, if it sounds good in the headphones or in your speaker, it's gonna sound good on the recording with very little work required. So if you plan on recording, at home. This is the ticket and you can have <laughs> countless combinations of amps and effects. It's incredible for that. Now, let's say you've got a tube amp but you don't have all the effects. Look at your budget. Can you afford the analog stuff? If you can, then do it because it's, <laughs> it's cooler, right? Um, but if you don't have any effects and you've got a decent tube amp, you can use this and just take out the cabs and the amp models and just use it purely for effects and everything is built in here, anything you can possibly imagine. If you're just trying to clean up for a show, you're tired of lugging around your massive heavy amps and you're trying to avoid a mess like this, then this is your ticket. This is all you need, a power cable, and something to connect to the PA system and you're ready to go. That's really the coolest thing about this is it's gonna sound good in your headphones, it's gonna sound good in your studio speakers, it's gonna sound good on your recording, it's gonna sound good through a PA. Uh, you start putting it through a guitar amp, you might have to tweak it a little bit depending on the EQ, depending on the settings of your guitar amp, but any speaker that you put it through, it's gonna sound good. Let's take a look at some of those sounds. through the main out mono into my Focusrite 2 i2. Uh, this works really well with USB, but uh, I'm trying to record my voice and the guitar at the same time, so I'm using the line out for this. If you use the USB, you can uh, also use the headphone jack and use it as a monitor as well. Here's an SRV tone that I was able to dial in. The cool thing about this, if you go online and look for people who have designed good presets on Helix, you can't like, uh, convert it and like find the file and convert it but you can go on there and uh, if they show you the screen uh, the how they built that tone then you can recreate it based off that the user interface looks almost exactly the same and so you're you're able to take a helix tone if they show you the settings and recreate it if you want any of these tones that I have here I'll put a link in the description uh, you can access them there so here's here's a good Stevie Ray Vaughan uh, kind of tone here Thank you. 
out of the box. How do you use this thing? Well, first, your wireless relay unit here. First thing you need to do is plug it into the guitar in, and you got this LED light that's gonna blink and flash orange and red for a little while. That's going to sense the wireless frequencies in the room and see if it needs to be changed for what you're doing. Uh, and when it turns green, you're ready to go. Now, what I, what I love about this is you don't get that annoying sound when you unplug it from your guitar or plug it in, you don't get that thing. And if you've ever pulled out a guitar cable with headphones in your ears, it's a really unpleasant experience. You don't get any of that with this. If you're not playing for a while, it powers itself down and you just start playing and it powers itself back on. What I don't like about this, uh, looks a little fragile. <laughs> Maybe that's by design, I don't know, but if you put your guitar in the stand the wrong way, then this thing's gonna snap off and you'll have to get a new one. They're pretty easy to replace, but you know, that's kind of annoying. You could get just a, a small cable and put this on your strap somehow and avoid that problem. But that's what I love and hate about this little guy. Uh, so you can store it right here, convenient for travel and you don't lose the thing. You charge it right here. As far as I can tell, the unit has to be on in order to charge it. it takes a little while. So uh, that's one of the downsides. It would be nice to have a, a separate charger that you don't have to leave the unit on all the time. But anyway, it's convenient right there. If you are in fact using an amp, you got an amp out right here. You got your PA out over here. You got your, your headphones jack over here. Uh, and there is a global setting that's guitar plus wireless. And so uh, if you use that on all your settings, then if the battery goes dead on your relay here, then you have a, a cable as a backup and you can plug it in and keep jamming. Super easy. Let's talk about how to use this guy about how to use all the knobs here so your home button is your friend if you get lost just push that uh, if you dial in an awesome tone and you're ready to switch to something else you push both of these it'll save it it's pretty self-explanatory now if you if you want to edit this thing best thing you do is go to a computer so if if you don't like messing around with a computer this this thing is not for you I mean this is digital it's highly versatile but you got a million different things to set on there so if that's not your thing if you don't like figuring it out and messing with all the things don't get this thing it's going to be a headache you're going to spend all your time trying to chase that tone and get it dialed in the right way and you're not going to be playing you're not going to be happy it's going to be wasting money so <laughs> if you're not a techie don't buy this thing it is not for you but if if you like that process and that feeling of accomplishment when you do get it right and get it dialed in uh, then then this thing is for you so you want to start editing your tones hit the the home button again and it also changes your view and you can scroll between uh, the different blocks here these are movable on the computer I haven't figured out how to do it on here I don't know if you can but really easy to click and drag you can move those on the computer and you can also edit the parameters on the computer very easily so uh, if you want to change what's what's there you, you select like I'm gonna go to the reverb block I'm gonna select it and then I can change uh, which reverb I'm using if you want to change the the hit the home button again if you want to change your uh, parameters Okay, so it takes a while to get used to the navigation on this this thing. It's pretty intuitive and pretty easy, but it takes a while. I've only had a few days. Um, this this will switch. You've got four different presets uh, at any given time. So if you're doing a song, you've got four possible options that are one click away. You've got infinite options if you can click in your bank here, but you have to scroll up and down and then click something else. Uh, so scroll then click you don't want to do that in the middle of the song so you want to put four things right here uh, if you got one setting that's good for the whole song click the mode button and then this will toggle on and off 
your different effects just like their regular stomp boxes. Uh, so you uh, want to change your settings on your reverb, click it, and then these buttons will do it here. Much easier to edit on the computer than it is on here, but it is possible to do most things on here. You got your master volume over here. The wah is really useful. You just push hard on it like a real wah. It doesn't really have an audible click or anything, but you can kind of, you can see this light turn to red and you know you've, you've turned it on and now you're in wah mode. Push it again uh, kind of hard and it, it will uh, switch back to volume. So I obviously love this thing. Why did I almost send it back? <laughs> well, out of the box, uh, I plugged everything in, super excited. Huge buzzkill, because uh, I had a very weak signal coming out of it uh, to my headphones. I could barely hear it. Everything sounded the same. I kept changing the parameters. I kept clicking around. Everything sounded exactly the same. I plugged it into my amp. Everything sounded exactly the same, and I'm like, what is going on? This is this can't be right. I thought I had a lemon, thought it was defective. Got on the phone <laughs> with uh, the guy at Sweetwater where I, I bought it, and we're talking, we're talking, trying to figure it out. It dawns on us. The firmware. Update the firmware. This is essentially a computer that's running your rig. you got to update it as soon as you get it. So before you plug it in, update the thing. It'll save you a world of headaches. Uh, just... Plug it in USB to your laptop and get the pod go edit software. Pretty easy to use, but update it and it'll save you uh, a lot of a lot of nightmares. I will say, if you don't like figuring things out, if you don't have a lot of time to spend on editing these things, this is not for you. It's frustrating. It it takes a while to figure it all out. But the possibilities, oh, the possibilities, it's worth it on the other side of that. So if you can take the time and figure out how to use this thing well, you can really get some good sounds. Thanks for tuning in. Have fun. Keep playing.